the simplest way to put it, I have problems. Welcome to Pain Management. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Moynihan. This is my co-host, Roderick McDaniel. And today... i that too. We have, <laughs> How would you feel alone? <laughs> today we have a very special guest, Christoph Jean. What's up, Welcome. you guys? <laughs> yeah, let's all just... What's uh, up, podcast heads? So uh, we're very glad that you're here. This Thanks is, for having uh, me, dude. This is uh this is our podcast pain management, and nice. we talk we we talk about um just kind of like blocks and mental health stuff. So okay, uh, do you what's are you mentally ill? <laughs> <laughs> you seem mentally. Ill. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually good. I'm fine now. Yeah, uh, perfectly. No, you seem I've, pretty. Uh, you seem like I got very, an anxiety disorder. Yeah, of it's some so kind. funny because uh, I was like, th the topic's going to be anxiety. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I can't. I yeah, don't I don't have know any what that anxiety. is. I've never, experienced <laughs> it. I've never experienced that personally. Yeah, no, that's not true. So no. you do you have an anxiety disorder? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's. I kind of knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, the doctor said it was just like anxiety general, just general general anxiety. anxiety that's, yeah. that's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. So I started taking uh, SSRI for it. Oh, nice. nice. And now my dick doesn't work, but I'm not as anxious. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Does your dick not work? My dick doesn't work, but I'm not worried about it. So. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so, Can you all suggest a medicine? I got seven like, kids. I need mine to quit you have working. seven children? <laughs> yeah. That's why I have anxiety. Oh, yeah, this guy, yeah. 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 I think that's not even, a, that's just a reasonable that's response very, to seven children. Yeah. Very fertile man. Yeah. If I had seven kids, I'd just be like, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? I need a medicine to make my dick say I'm yeah. taking a break. Please Damn. send me that. I'm on I'm on Lexapro. Me too. Uh, yeah. I it's did a good take one. that one one time. And Lexapro is a good antidepressant because it has an anxiety agent uh kind of built into it. So like any what my uh psychiatrist said was he usually prescribes Lexapro to people who have depression and also anxiety. Mm. Uh but yeah, I mean, I have generalized anxiety. I get anxious over basically like everything. No, yeah, nothing, everything. nothing and everything. Just little yeah. things, little social anxiety. Where do you think your anxiety is uh, the worst? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't think. Uh, I think I was more socially anxious when I was younger. I'm a, I'm a, mostly okay with that now. I don't think yeah. I really have a real problem with that now. Yeah. I think. Uh, it always just, it's kind of textbook, just like something happens or, uh, you know, to use a buzzword, but like trigger or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, it's a weird one I always have is, uh, I, I've always had this whenever I leave work, I think I did something horrible and I can't get it out of my head that I did something horrible. Like I used to work at an office with, or not an office, it was like a a store with computers and I'd always work on the computers. Right. And then I, every time I would leave work, I'm like, I looked up hardcore crazy porn on those right. computers and I couldn't get it out of my head. And you didn't. And, no, obviously yeah. <laughs> I, I, think I have no memory of putting on nasty, crazy <laughs> yeah. gangbang porn, yeah. you know, just seven fucking guys just blasting on yeah, a lady yeah, yeah, that would yeah. come into my mind. Right. Cool stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I that would just be cool. like, not convinced, but I'd have this horrific thought for a moment. Yeah. And then I would like linger on the thought for a while. Yeah. I always think I'm going to get fired. Yeah. I just think I'm going to get Whatever fired. Whatever job I have, even if I'm killing it and doing good, yeah. I just think like my day's coming very soon. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get fired. I'm going to get owned, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I think about that all the time with work. Yeah. Or like, um, it's always like weirdly like when things end or things like I leave a place or something mm -hmm. like that, like, or maybe impressions too. Like if I leave a party or something, I'm like, Oh, I said yeah. something horrible. Uh -huh. Someone, someone, I said something to someone at this party and they think I'm the biggest piece of shit. Who's mm -hmm. ever lived. I have that one. <laughs> but do you guys ever have that happen before shows? Do y'all ever have like, Oh my God, there's a hundred people out there. There's 30 people out there. I'm about to screw this up. Do y'all have that one? I have like general stage fright, but nothing like, on out of the ordinary. See, that's amazing. I get like fun, nervous, you know. Yeah. Oh, so before you go on stage, you're worried that you're gonna say Oh, I, I dude, that used to be my number one thing, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm talking yeah. eighteen years into my career. Oh wow. I'd be freaking out my hands would 
Dang. do this weird shaky thing. Do you ever think like you're going to get up and say like it's something terrible? I and I <laughs> relish the idea of saying something terrible now because <laughs> I want to say something so offensive that black people and white people both want to ban me. Yeah, well, you, they bond together. Yeah, yeah. I want to like, sort of Republicans and Democrats just come together and go, <laughs> we got to ban this guy. And that's, <laughs> I'm waiting to say that. And then what's going to yeah. happen is everybody's going to go, Stream my album to figure out what it is, right. and then I'm gonna be in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> about, I got him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say it again gonna, next week. I was thinking I'm gonna say something horrible, uh, you know, like the N word or something like that. Do you ever get that? I, I, yeah, but I say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, always, I always say it, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and nobody cares. No, and I'm like, I'm so that. disappointed in this crowd, yeah. liberals. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me say whatever I want, okay? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's, I always find it weird about how, like, anxiety, where it pops up. You don't expect it. Yeah, it's it like happens. weird, weird stuff. It's no matter what for me. If something goes well, it's always, for me, well, there's anxiety, obviously, before something, but... A lot of my anxiety is after. Oh something. yeah, it's always after. Yeah, it's after always in some show. weird recollection that is yeah. fake. After like hanging out with friends, mm -hmm. like friends, like it, like because like me and Chris all were friends, and we all have our group of friends from uh, Orlando that moved here, mm -hmm. and just like I'll be hanging out with them. And just like, you know, outside of the creek or something. And I'll be driving home and just be thinking about something I said or like, yeah. I'm so like anxious. Like, I'm so unsure of myself a lot of wow. times. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, I get that too. Like I wasn't cool. I wasn't a good hang. I was too uptight. I was talking about yeah. myself too much. There is so, like so many unnecessary thoughts. And of course, no one's really thinking about anything that you're saying. No. No one gives There's a There's a weird line with it though. Don't you think I'm like, so <laughs> like, uh, people, like no one thinks about you as much as you think about you is obviously yeah. true, but I think about some people, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. We, I'm in there. I'm judging. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, what the? Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. I guess just... Jimmy got a new pair of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did everyone see Jimmy's shoes? That fucking dumbass. And then J you're thinking about like, oh, I, I'm, I was selfish in conversation. Whereas I'm like. It was goofy ass haircut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just, just like upset that's the best something. friend thinking about you right there. Just judging you intensely for your for your shoes. It is. I am very. I do judge. I'm so judgmental. It's ridiculous, yeah. and yeah. I'm so sensitive at the same time. It's a very right. <laughs> just the most hypocritical combo. You're there a Reddit. Is. That's what you just told me. <laughs> Tell me you're a Reddit without telling me you're Reddit name. Right, okay. right. <laughs> because that is a very that's a Reddit take. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that is very was. We, I argue yeah. with you a week ago. <laughs> we call we call Christoph the human Reddit. No, yeah. what the hell? I'm not human Reddit. Shut Church the flip mental. up. You're human Reddit, dude. Why don't you go watch Princess Bride again? I like to think I'm more like a human porn hub. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what well, I, 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 I did see you, you know, on Lauren Compton's show. And oh, yeah, congrats. You got freaky on that doll. So, yeah, you yeah. are the human porn hub. Well, yeah. Uh, it was cool to be able to show everyone my sex moves. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. I like that, man. Yeah. I saw it and I said, you know what? He'd make a great son-in-law. Probably not going to get a kid out of yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. he'd make a great son-in-law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The slide up. Yeah, uh, you yeah. got to do the slide up. Yeah. Yeah. Only thing I wanted was somebody to play uh, Genuine's Pony while you were doing that. <laughs> yeah, you should That's what that. was played in my head when I watched the video. I was like, yes. Yeah. Nice. The, were you the, hard? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that would I actually mean, freak Lauren me Compton out. Compton was there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, she is. She's a good she's, looking woman. Yeah, she's <laughs> she she's stunning, dude. I I've never met her in person, and it's the one person my brother wishes I would meet because oh really? He loves that woman. He yeah. says if you ever meet her in person, just. Just say my name to her, please. <laughs> right. And I said, I yeah. think that's why the universe has never let me meet her in person because I'm supposed to go, hey, there's this black man named Terrence McDaniel. He's very successful and <laughs> he thinks you're amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then that's I'm going to walk away. Say, and she's yeah. going to be like, that That was your sales pitch for him? <laughs> I'm not trying to get you two married. Okay. Yeah. There was this weird thing. I don't know why specifically about Lauren Compton, but like, it was one. I hugged her, and I'm like, yeah. like I turned, <laughs> <laughs> like I turned into like a, a middle school kid. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Our our uh, chest touch, our chest touch, which is something I used to think about in 
in like high school, like, oh my God, I, you know. Um, <laughs> and then just her knowing that I exist. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet though, man. Yeah, she's sweet. <laughs> Just in case Lauren, by some weird instance, says he's not creepy, he's a good person. Uh, no, she knows I'm creepy. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to knows. be creepy. Yeah, I think creepy people get a bad rep. They do. Don't do anything bad. Yeah, it's okay to be creepy. There's, I mean, some people are just creepy, and it's yeah. not fair. It's just and their innocent face. about it, where it's like you're not being uh, abrasive. Yeah, or like it's sort of like you can have sinful thoughts, but not sinful actions. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, you just <laughs> explain my entire 20s. I mean, yeah. <laughs> just explain that away. Yeah. I mean, like, if I voiced all the thoughts I had, I'd be the creepiest person. Yeah. I mean, I have like, any the, man with a, with yeah, a any, guy, any, ma yeah. any male sexuality. Yeah. We, the nasty. stuff I think about sometimes it's just crazy. stuck in traffic makes me go, you really are a better person for going to therapy because. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you probably would have said that out loud. Right. Now you're just like, no. Like, like road rage? No, just, but yeah. I've said horribly racist things oh, playing yeah. online and in traffic. Yeah. But <laughs> I cannot play games online. Because <laughs> if we're in a match and I'm about to, you know, it's a 4v1, I'm wishing cancer on all my teammates for letting me down. <laughs> and then I'm just saying racist stuff to everybody I'm playing against. And then yeah. I also know what my voice sounds like online and people can't tell if I'm black or white. So then right. they're like, who's this white dude saying <laughs> all this racist <laughs> stuff? And I'm like, if only you knew, your mom knows. And then yeah. it's like, okay, I'm not a yeah, good yeah. person. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, in traffic, if I get stuck in traffic sometimes, yeah. I'll just be looking around and be like, oh, wow, she's wearing biker shorts at this time of the year? Yeah. Wow, that's a fat ass. And then, yeah, yeah. then my brain starts going off on this tangent, and yeah. then I'll catch myself like, bro, mm -hmm. they would lock you up for thinking some of that. What are you doing right now? <laughs> yeah. Leave that woman alone. You don't know what her situation is. <laughs> Maybe she's yeah. just trying to get through college. Why are you even staring at this point? And I'll be right. like, don't look at her. Look over here. Look at that homeless dude. He's a very handsome man. <laughs> he does his beard. Why am I thinking like this? Yeah. I have a lot of gay thoughts. Uh, <laughs> there's like so many gay thoughts I have that I'm just like, I'm not touching that. Yeah. yeah. Not, you can't you can't touch all of them. I don't you have let some of them there's, I have too many issues. I'll dive into that yeah. later. Oh, but uh, as far as being a creep, so I work at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, there must be a memo that was sent out to every hot, hot lady. lady to go to Whole Foods. It's like, hey, we go to Whole Foods. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, it is sexy insane. though for a lady to be like, I only eat organic, expensive food. I think that's what it is. And they all know that. Yeah. They got to I mean, eat kale salads and kombucha mm -hmm. and yep. fucking be lean <laughs> yep. as hell. And I then go in there yeah. and get those poppy sodas yeah. every now and those then. Are good. And, those oh are my good. God. I walk in there to get those. And yeah. then it's like, oh, was there a hot chick convention? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And then I'm just sitting there and I'm fa I work in the deli and I'm just facing them. So I'm just look I'm just like out, just going crazy. It's like I need to jerk off before work. Yeah. Because if not, I'll just like. Yeah, I don't need that job. Just go nuts. Yeah, I was uh, I was walking to work, and then like a hot girl like smiled at me. I was like, "Whoa!" Nice. And then I inst my first thought was like, "I just I'm gonna go jerk off." <laughs> like I just wanted to <laughs> just immediately. Nuts? Yeah. I'm like, well, I have to go jerk uh -huh. off. Now. I'm gonna go back home. Yep. And go masturbate. And take care of this. Yeah. <laughs> there has so, to be and then I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, yeah. literally, like, I just made plans to go I, jack I, off. I now know why they put <laughs> both of you on smiling. Lexapro. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Your yeah, therapist both said, no, we got to stop these penises. Yeah. <laughs> we both beat the Lexapro thing. What do you mean? Well, when I first started taking Lexapro, my one, I stopped thinking about sex. Oh, yeah. And my dick stopped working. Yeah. But now it's back. I can get hard, but it's hard for me to, it's hard to, to reach the goal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you got DE, delayed ejaculation. Yeah, I got now. that going on. Yeah. So that's like really frustrating. Honestly, a lot of, I've told other men and they're like, that's sick. You don't, whatever. And I'm like, no. bro. It, nice. I'd rather come in five seconds because then at least I could like wait yeah. a minute. I have friends talking about round two. I'm like, round two? Are round you psychotic? Two. It I took haven't me even 15 finished round minutes. one. It took me 15 yeah. minutes and I had to fucking, you know. Yeah. 
close my eyes and think about a man or whatever. Yeah. No, but not, <laughs> 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 do all this stuff. I had to do all I appreciate this. your honesty so right now. Yeah. I had the to do stuff all these. I'm thinking about. I'll, I'll notice I'm closing my eyes when I'm having sex. I'm like, that's not a good look probably like, for her. I'm going somewhere <laughs> else, baby. Because <laughs> she's got to be thinking yeah. like, I'm not closing my eyes thinking of the woman that's in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> I do close my eyes to just yeah. to like, con- I have to, sometimes I have to just fucking concentrate. Fucking uh, hyper focus on my on my wiener yeah it's a like, lot of focus because oh, there's you a lot of have mirrors in your bedroom no no you thank need to god get one. oh get one, seriously put one up you think like so? on your drawer because i mean you have to be i, I grew up with the drawers you know you had a dress when you got married it had a mirror on it so there were times i've seen myself in the mirror and i'd be like eh, my stomach's a lot smaller huh. really yeah okay i'm just gonna you? be like oh my dick is a lot smaller <laughs> <laughs> I, that's why I don't want to marry. Yeah. Why are my balls like that? Yeah. What yeah, my show balls am I on like this week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, what happened here today? Yeah. <laughs> no, I have a weird dick. Yeah. Is it weird looking? I don't know. Maybe. Let me see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's not a great, you know. Actually, I don't mind other ladies seeing it. Did you always, do you guys me. get anxiety about sex? Uh, not really. The only anxiety I get about sex is like sometimes I'll be going to bed and I want to go to bed and I don't want to have sex and I get worried that my girlfriend wants to and that yeah. I'm not. And then I play out the whole scenario of me rejecting her and then I feel guilty for this like soul scenario I made up where whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then the reality right. is that she's like doesn't, doesn't care. It just goes. Right, back. right, right. Yeah, I, I've, I've had it. Yeah. I've got I've had anxiety about it. But I'm also older. You start getting older and you start worrying about those things. You're yeah. Like, hey man, is you know, is the spark going out to marriage? Am I doing my part? You start yeah. thinking about weird things when you get older, man. That makes sense. You do. And then now I'm divorced. And you know, now when I'm with a my lady friend, I don't want to call it a girlfriend yet, but when I'm with nice. a lady friend and we're together, I'm thinking about you can't go quick. Cause you know she's gonna tell people, but you know oh, also performance anxiety. And then yeah, I get that man. And so, yeah. but now I got I'm starting to have that delayed ejaculation, and it's taking forever to get the first one out. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, I hope she's not getting bored. Cause this, yeah, I, I think about that sometimes that she's getting bored, or that she's like, or that she feels like unattractive because it takes yeah. a long time, and then. Yeah, you know, you that just makes it worse because now yeah. you're thinking. Sex is supposed to be fun and like right, enjoyable, right, right, right. and there's yeah. so much that's going on in my head during it. So oh stupid. yeah, it's the worst. Well, I, I, I can have good like uninhibited time. sex thus a lot of the time, but still, yeah. you know, maybe one out of four. I'm like right. Maybe less less than that, but it's just like sometimes you just get anxious about it for whatever. Or it's like a yeah. fleeting moment of anxiety, then you're back in it. Like once you're settled in with a partner, there's a lot less anxiety. Yeah, no, for sure. You're enjoyable. You're very really? wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to even give you hope. <laughs> no, don't get that hope. Well, I, mean, I think there's when you're with a partner and that's your partner, I think it's it's gonna hit you differently when it happens. Because yeah. you're going to think about it. Yeah. But those things you're going to think about are not going to be about the performance. It's about, hey, did I get the, did I get those clothes out of the washing machine mm-hmm. that she told me to get out? Because I don't want to have that fight. Uh, I'm supposed to be yeah. in this moment having sex with her, but I'm worried about, if I didn't get those dishes out of that dishwasher, right. after this, she's going to go in there and discover that those cups are not in the cabinet. They're still in the dishwasher. Yeah. And there's going to be a fight. And then you're like. Oh, I got to keep her here to make her not get up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go get yeah, the yeah. water for her. Right, 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 right. And then just, ah, I'm just doing the dishes real quick. Yeah. I Too much thought. Yeah. yeah, your thoughts change, man. It's And that's the crazy part about anxiety. You never know what's going to hit you or where it's going to hit you. Yeah. I hate the one where I'm driving over big bridges. Oh, you're afraid of bridges? I do a lot of time on the road in that car. And if we, especially in Louisiana, Lake Charles and all that, you start driving over those bridges. Oh, Oh, there's a huge one in like, yeah, yeah, between, uh, it's it's over the Mississippi, isn't it? Uh, I don't. Is well, yeah, there be. is. That's the there's lake, that big ass one over the Missi- big, the one that goes to New Orleans. The yeah, Lake yeah. Train. Oh, oh that one's God. nuts. Oh, 20 yeah. Twenty miles of bridge. Yeah, that one's crazy. Is that with like swamps? Yeah, and it just goes forever. It's late, it Lake Pontchartrain, mm-hmm. and it's like uh, it's a giant like reservoir that they dug out after yeah. building New Orleans, basically. But it's like this. It's literally twenty miles straight yeah. across. It's nuts. Yeah, yeah you're you just can't even bridge. see like the shore in the middle. I remember it's that crazy. And I remember just thinking like, because my my thought went into 
if I jumped in there and then like if I didn't have it, I would be so fucked if I was yeah, like, yeah. stuck out here. Oh no, my thing <laughs> keeps going. The wind's gonna blow my Nissan Rogue over this rail and blow me yeah. into the water, and nobody's ever gonna find me. Yeah. And now <laughs> I'm having a panic attack, and then I'll find that my hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. like Death that. gripping the wheel. And I'm just like, what are you? Why are yeah. you imagining uh, yeah. the worst movie possible? Right, in your head? just Hurricane Katrina comes through again. Yeah, yeah. fucking lifts your just car right up. here at this a spot. Tornado yeah. forms right on the lake and just lifts you in. Katrina just pulls up. Heard you talking shit. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, so I, I always I think I'm going to crash my car on purpose. Yeah. Like, ah. Have you like, ever had that pop in your head when you're looking at traffic and think about I ought to drive into that oncoming traffic? Oh yeah, of course. See, that's the call of the void. I think that's more common than people realize. Yeah, of course. Oh, I think about it all the time. It, it was just like, if I wanted to, I could just murder so many people right yeah, now with yeah. my car. Parade going through. And I just, you know, thank God I don't. Yeah, of course. I now understand white shooters a lot easier because yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. is it all? I'm always thinking about killing myself. And Jimmy's like, I could kill a group of people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? You never that? thought about that? Yeah, come on. Okay. I always think about killing an individual. I'm a very like that guy needs to die, but I've well, never I'll, looked I'll at have a like rage and want to kill someone. Yeah, yeah. But I just have the intrusive like knee jerk yeah, thought, just a thought yeah. to go. You know, like uh, like I'll have like a f car full of my friends. That'll happen sometimes. It'll be like four four of my friends are on a road trip. You know, packed in my car. There's five people in my car. I'm like, dude, I could murder my entire friend group right now. <laughs> 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 And then I live. I like live right. out the whole scenario. Like you I live, live. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, they're all dead, and I did it, and it felt good. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> this is how A24 writes scripts. Yeah. 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 Two yeah. freaky ass white boys yeah. start talking. Uh, just put y'all in the room. Yeah, holler at you in a f few hours, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll do that. What else do I do? I mean, anytime I'm like holding a baby. Oh yeah. Like a football throwing that thing. Mm -hmm. I think the baby thing is the most scary thing, baby, especially when it's your baby. When I yeah. first had a baby, oh, I was like, the hell "Oh, that's like, what if I drop this? Yeah, what if something?" Yeah. But like, it's a good thought to have because you go, "Well, now I'm not gonna make sure no, I don't drop, drop it." it yeah. yeah, like I'm scared. Like I, yeah. I drop my phone accidentally it's all like the time. Oh, yeah. so I'm always worried about a baby when they give it to me. It's like, like when you don't have a case on your phone and you won't drop it. Yeah, man, dude, I, I panic with babies, bro. It's not I exactly. Like yeah, you gotta that. put a. I'm gonna put a helmet on my kid. Yeah. Put a damn helmet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this this episode just guaranteed that we're on a FBI watch list. Yeah. That's well, all I, I know no, for this that's episode. Normal. Yeah, that's normal. You have that fear. Yeah, standing on a balcony, jumping off. The balcony one's big. I was uh, on top of a skyscraper. I'm like, I could just. There's nothing stopping me. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. You know what kills me about that? We've watched way too many TV shows where yeah. somebody always jumped off a balcony. Yeah. Like, there's a whole CSI that starts with that, and she crashes through the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the whole time I'm watching it, I was like, man, I wonder if they're going to total that car out. Like, right. they, they, we can replace that roof. I, I did think right. that one time. Like, I wonder they just have, like, some kind of weird dummy car just for the shows, you know? Dude, they got to figure something out for – There's, yeah. got, I want to know cheap that broken game. broken cars. Yeah. They probably do find a car and just tow it on the set. Like, the engine doesn't work. We got it for 200 let Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dump. Yeah, there's literally no engine in there. Yeah, let's do this. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I won. Now oh. we, we're thinking about that. We're all really going to go. We're all, I know we'll tonight, that's going to that's gonna trend on Google and in Austin, Texas. <laughs> yeah, we're all yeah. looking at how do those dubby cars work for Hollywood <laughs> for jumping it, uh, off balconies. I always get it in elevators, too. Like, big elevators. I imagine, like, the cable just, just snapping, and then I'm right. like, ah! Yeah, and yeah, then I yeah. think, what if I jumped at the last second? Would I would I live? But I that's not how physics works. Alive so. that hadn't had that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's just not how physics works. Would you? No, no, okay. you cannot. Because so everything's moving. Everything. Okay. If you jumped at the last second, then you would just keep moving. <laughs> if you just jumped <laughs> yeah. at the right time. Yeah, gravity. You land. Yeah, gravity you everyone else Jimmy is dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're all falling at the same rate. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. Damn it. Fuck. Jimmy was like, I had hope. Uh, do you guys get cla I get claustrophobic on elevators and airplanes. I'm a lot better now, but I used to have to when I was on an airplane, I used to have to get up 
Mm-hmm. I would have panic attacks on airplanes a lot, and I would have to like walk the aisles. Yeah, which made people nervous. Yeah, because it's just like guys like, just like gonna fucking do it. You're walking finally back gonna do it, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just flipping a box yeah, cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like <laughs> talking to myself. I would literally walk the aisles talking to myself, and like I would look at people, and they're like, "Oh God." Oh yeah, now yeah. that would be scary. Yeah, I'd yeah. be freaked out by that. Yeah, but in a post nine eleven, the world. plane doesn't bother me. But I remember when I was a kid and we would play hide and seek. I could hide in a closet, but as I get older, I don't like being in enclosed spaces like that. Like right. I can't be in a closet. Yeah, you know. And I yeah. was—I don't know why I'm like that. Like I don't like tight enclosed spaces. Right. I have some kind of—I I don't know. I have like a weird opposite thing with that, where I like to be like. Right. Well, you're so used to being stuck in the closet. So. What the hell, dude? Come on, Jesus. Come on Jimmy. <laughs> this is why we. This is why you can't have two best friends on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and we're live. Yeah, I love it when the friends just kill each other. Right? <laughs> no, I. Uh, I don't know. I kind of liked it. I used to like build like little like uh, like we had a small walk-in closet downstairs in my uh, house growing up, and I used to like I put like my little. You know, like the the bigger TVs, like the CRTVs or whatever, mm-hmm. and I would like oh, go yeah. go into the corner with like so a blanket cool. and just like watch yeah. TV like that. And then now, I don't know. Like I watched Harry Potter. Remember, he has his little room, his little mm-hmm. like shit ass bedroom, and I was like, yeah. yo, that'd be sick. It'd be nice, right? That would be pretty sick. Yeah, <laughs> I set up a room in my closet as a kid. Yeah, and I had a little thirteen inch TV. Yeah, and I plugged it in and blankets on the floor. Yeah, I think there's just something very comforting about like a fort. Yeah, I was yeah like uh, I still like just everything's with right here. Your yeah, blankets on the floor. I mean, yeah, it's very wrapped. nice. And the like, I make, sleep. I always sleep facing the corner too. I like to face the corner of oh, really? a room, like corner wall, and right. yeah, I just don't like sleeping. to face the whole room for some reason. I like can't. if I sleep on a couch, yeah. I always face the. Me too. Yeah, I yeah. face the back. I have to face looking out, and I have to face the door. I have. I'm a roll over in my sleep, but yeah. a lot of times when I go to sleep, I want to sleep. Where's the door to this room? I got to know where that door is. No, and the, the door has to be closed. I yeah. can't look down an empty hall at night. Right, right, right. Which is a weird fear because I'm a big dude and I'm always like, what is going to come out of the yeah. darkness that's right. going to even see me and go, I don't want no parts of that. Right. Yeah. But in my head, I'm just thinking, oh, they're going to be ready. To yeah, you got to keep an eye. Is that, do you think that's connected to your PTSD? Oh, 100%. Because, yeah. uh, well, also, I've been in countries. Like, I remember first time I went to Bahrain and somebody told me, you had a PLO kidnap some Americans from here. And I was like, the Palestinian Liberation Organization kidnapped people from yeah. Bahrain. They were like, yeah. Right. So I remember going into restaurants and with that in my head. Right. And I, I had to face the door. I had to see who was coming into the restaurant. Yeah. Right, and right. to this day, man, I've been out of the military for 30 something years and I still. Like if I right. go to lunch with you and I don't sit face with my, you know, if I put my back to the door, to the door, yeah. that means I have the utmost trust in you, and I've wow. only done that for like three people I know. There are only three people where yeah, I I'm put not my back to you. a door. Yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, look, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting out. But of also, there. here's the thing I, I do: I, I, f- I find every exit when we go in, even the clubs. If I, that's why I don't go to nightclubs anymore. I would go into nightclubs and I'd be like. Look like I was casing the joint, and I'd be oh, there's a wow. exit. There's an exit. That's crazy how that stays with you for so long. Yeah, because yeah, you never know. Because I'm in my head. One, out, not in a war zone. I was in San Diego, and they shot up a club I was in one time. Damn. So I a nightclub. Wow. Yeah, I was in a nightclub. It, I tell a joke about it where this lady, I was really trying to speak game to her, man. Like, yeah. hey, could be your man, you know, blah. Just trying to, you yeah. know, riz her up, man. And <laughs> next Hell thing yeah. I know, could be she's man. like. You just talking, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, next thing I know, I heard pop, pop, pop. And man, I pushed off of her like a track meet. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, I left her. and then I got to the car and I'm waiting on my boys. I didn't try to get anybody out. I just wow. got to the car and I'm waiting for people. Right. She saw me in the parking lot. She came over. You ain't shit. You <laughs> left me. How you gonna leave? You talking all that noise. That's the first of all, you didn't commit while we were in the right, club. Right. What I look like saving you so you can go get with somebody next That's week. A good point. You know what? If you wanted to be with me, you should have committed before yeah. the shooting started. And then I'd have got you out yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah. Do you think if before the shooting starts, she's like, I suck, I'll suck your dick? Oh, I'd have threw her on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's my baby. <laughs> 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 
baby. <laughs> no one heard this angel. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be like, that's a real man. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. At him. But there, saved, was, there was some negotiation before this. man saves yeah. woman from... <laughs> <laughs> Only you know the motivation. Yeah, yeah. there's like he's a hero. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. you guys that suck your dick. And you're like, I fucking hate you. Yeah. I hate you so much. Yeah, if yeah, she yeah. refuses after we get out from the shit, like, I'm, I'm just running scared. her back into know. the club. Yeah. <laughs> it was so horrible. I was so scared. I don't think I can suck your dick tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just cock blocked oh, by a what? fucking. Yeah, talk, talk by by an AR-15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going in there. <laughs> Who stopped the shooter? It wasn't a good guy with a gun. It was an angry black dude with a hard yeah. dick. Yeah. Yeah. Just beat him up. Yeah. You ruined this for me. It's not a good guy with a gun. It's a horny black guy. <laughs> horny black guy stopped shooter. Yeah. yeah, the only guys who can stop a bad guy with a gun. <laughs> he's, a, he's a horny guy Fuck. with a boner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guy with the gun is like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, gay, gay. Yeah, get away, get away. <laughs> yeah. He, he dropped his gun and ran. That's how yeah. I did it. What if that's what saves you? Is that there's so much blood in your dick you don't bleed out? I don't think physically that's how that works, but I like where you're thinking. I, I like where your head's at. I don't <laughs> want to be on that episode. I think of house logically, when they reboot it. Yeah. <laughs> his house limping around. Like, yeah. His dick was hard. That's why he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's horny and it saved his life. Yeah, yeah. man. Then I'm a, I'll be telling her, see, I told you. <laughs> told you. Dude, Take that, a pop, of, I, think about pop that. of Viagra during a shooting. Yeah, like, that's like, smart. If I go down, like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you now pop a wait. Viagra doing the shooting <laughs> for safety reasons? Yeah. Uh, okay. don't, don't you know about blood? <laughs> you weirdos never took a biology course. <laughs> uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, eight years. September <laughs> September twenty sixteen. So yeah, eight years. Wow. Yeah. And I met you. I think on the. It was 2019. Yeah, a couple years after. At uh, Open Mics. There was oh, this, shout out to Open Mics. Dude, there was this dude. comedy. That was a ridiculous place. This ven comedy venue in Melbourne, Florida that was so... You know those like places where you perform where it's like you know you're not as funny oh yeah as they, yeah but like that's where i started so <laughs> i yeah. was like doing these jokes and i'm like i'm fuck i mean that's where i started in florida yeah and i was like i'm fucking killing it and i remember taking all the jokes that i was doing at open mics and going to orlando and just, just bombing, bombing my dick all <laughs> the shit <laughs> fuck i suck ass oh, dude. i remember feeling like uh like a celebrity going to Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm, a, I'm from the big city, Orlando. Right. Yeah, <laughs> like I was hot you. shit for some reason. <laughs> and then I would go and make $80 and right. be like, I'm the Open richest, mic. coolest guy in the fucking world. But it's so made funny. $80. Yeah. It's funny from like that point of view. That's how I saw, because like I was starting up comedy again in, in Florida. Yeah. And I saw these comics from Orlando as like, because like, is like big time. Like I saw like you and like Ross Paget. Mm -hmm. I remember when Ross Paget came to uh um open mics to open mics coffee lounge and I remember I was on the show with him and it was a big deal and uh I didn't talk to him <laughs> in the backstage but then before I left I was like I'm just going to like why what why am I afraid to talk? Yeah. And cuz like there wasn't an there wasn't a green room really. So yeah. like I there's that weird little side yeah, area. So I didn't talk to him at all like after but I went up to him after the show, I'm like, dude, good set, man. He goes, thanks, man. Thanks for coming out. He just thought I was <laughs> you were, uh, he he didn't know I was you were on the honest. show. I'm like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> he didn't correct him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. That's so funny. Yeah. I love that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, yeah, there's a there's a comedian, a famous comedian who were, I'll, I won't air him out, but he, he, he kept calling me Christian. I just Ooh. never corrected him. <laughs> then I felt like such yeah. a bitch about it, dude. Yeah. Like, oh, good to see you, Christian. And I'm like, yeah, I see you, man. Yeah. I'm like, I'm such it's a so loser. That such you're... a pussy, dude. Yeah. I can't even correct In this, In actuality, you'd have so much more respect for you if you just told him your name. Yeah, I know. And then later, he's going to know your name. Like, why did that yeah. pussy not fucking... What a fucking loser. You say that, but just I corrected somebody pussy and I never got pussy, booked again. big, dumb pussy loser. <laughs> I did. I corrected somebody one time and I'd never been booked Ooh. again. Did so they call you Roger? Like, I was like, uh, maybe I should have just let him have the wrong name. Man. Yeah. Right. You're like, it's African-American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, man, my name gets said so weird to me, especially there's a certain breed of white people that are going to mess it up, all right? right. So y'all have, 
It's your white people that put raisins in every fucking thing. Those people always mispronounce my name. What do they say? I had a lady one time, this old, very sweet white lady. She said, what's your name? I said, Roderick. And she said, Roderick, spell it. And I spelled it. And she goes, Roderick, Roderick. And I go, okay, cool. She's got it. And like, not even three minutes later, Wilbur, can you help me <laughs> with this? And I was like, Wilbur, Wilbur dude, is the great. The pig from Charlotte's <laughs> Web? Yes. The pig from Charlotte's <laughs> Web? You old bitch. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, And dude. I let her have that one. They were, Wilbur, yeah. then her daughter was like, what is your name? And I said, yeah. Roderick. And she said, she keeps calling you Wilbur. I said, I know. And she said, I am so sorry. I said, as long as they get it right on my check, I don't care. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, yeah. I'll let that old lady have it. But this was a dude that was a younger dude. And he was a talent guy. And, and he said, I think he said Roger or Robert. And I said, Roderick. And he goes, ah, and never booked me again. Right. And I was High like, maintenance. oh, <laughs> right. yeah. okay. I hate that. I should have just let him have it. Man. Yeah. I don't want to, I didn't want Robert McDaniel to get my book. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm calling up Robert. Hey, you want this gig? Man, I just started last week. Of course. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I had a baseball coach call me crystal ball for like, months and I just never corrected him. First of all, that's I mean, a like, dope ass uh, that's got, That was part of my thinking, honestly, was like, it dude, he keeps cool. calling me Crystal Ball. And like, yeah. part of me thought it was like a nickname he thought was funny or something, or yeah. I didn't know for sure. And then someone on my team called me Christoph. And he goes, your name is Christoph? And I went, yeah. And he goes, I'm calling you Crystal Ball for three months. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> Crystal Ball is kind of sick though, yeah, at the yeah. same time. No, Crystal we Ball have, does a we magic like, show. That's a dope name yeah, for that's a magician. Pretty sick. Yeah. Crystal Ball. I just think of Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. It's yeah. like Spanish or something. Yeah, yeah. man. I, if that dude came in, hey, Crystal Ball's about to do some hand magic. That dude's <laughs> bad. <laughs> we both have names, though, that are close to more common names. Yes. Because you're Roger, Roderick. I'm Christopher, Christoph. Right. Yeah. So everyone, go, I, everyone goes Christopher. Yeah. I go, uh, like, classic introducing myself to someone who I'm probably never going to speak to again is... I'm Christoph. Christopher? I go, Christoph. They go, Chris. Yeah, Chris. That's yeah. fine, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking Why can't people just I feel like it's so disrespectful to not call you by your name. That I introduced myself as? Yeah, yeah it's but you know what the problem is? People are deaf. Yeah. People are deaf. Yeah, I a... really believe that the hearing in our generations keeps dropping off. Because <laughs> yeah. I've had people say their yeah. name to me multiple times and I'll be like, huh? And they'll say it and I'll go. Say it one more time. I'm not going to ask a third time. Yeah, you right. can. After a third time, I'm just looking for your name on the lineup. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's their name. Oh, I've done that before. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate it. Or I'll listen to the announcer. Oh, that's their name. Yeah. <laughs> that's their or I'll name go with the bud. Or my move is if I don't know someone's name, um, when I say goodbye, I'll make sure they're with someone else. And then that way I can just say, see you guys. You know, it's like. Yeah, yeah. Good one. See, I dude, you know how it yeah. sucks? That's You're saying weird. bye to three people. You're like, see you, Kevin. See you, Charlie. See you, bud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Charlie's so like, more. I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening right now? I was like, oh, well, that guy knows I do not know him. Yeah. Even though I know oh, I've met him four times. Shit. Yeah, that's, that, that's a whole new anxiety. You know what I pisses just me off is when someone gives you a... <laughs> You go, I go, nice to meet you. And they go, we've met. I go, fuck off. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You're not that fucking memorable, Why you fucking you doing loser. That? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> What's my last name? What's my last name? Yeah. You, yeah, you quiz yeah. them? Yeah, if you know. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got hit with the, we've met like four times. Suck my cock. Yeah. I meet a lot of people four <laughs> yeah. times. There's so many people. <laughs> I go, fuck you. You're not that important. Yeah. You're not, no I one's that important met. to anybody. I don't, yeah. just, I, Almost nobody do I <laughs> hold it against them if I f they forget right. my name. I think it's part of having a weirder name yeah. is that you kind of go, yeah, people are going to fuck of it course. up. They're not yeah. going to remember it. Whatever. I'm not, you know, taking that personal. I go right. to Chick-fil-A. I say, order for Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to make the, you know, closeted guy at Chick-fil-A. Right, right, right. Say, <laughs> yeah. You know, say Chris. Justin heard, heard when he came to the anime <laughs> convention, you heard him. They never even called me Roderick. They called me Coach. The whole anime, the the whole community in, in of Central Austin anime knows me as Coach. Why Nobody, are you Coach? Because what happened was I was working at a GameStop, 
when yeah. Left 4 Dead 2 came out. Oh, and okay. I was standing there, well, and this little kid said, <laughs> "Are you him?" <laughs> and you just look like Coach. <laughs> <laughs> that little I eight-year-old old bastard <laughs> ruined my life, man. Because he was like, "Is that you?" And everybody heard it, and it just yeah. stuck with me. So I was just like, "Coach." So when I went to EA, Coach, and then when I started the pocket, Coach, and we went yeah. to the anime convention, Coach, and I was like, "You got That's coach just my vibe. name." Now. Do you work for EA? I did for several years. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. What did you do at EA? Can I ask? Man, I did everything, dude. Yeah. I, when I left, I was in user acceptance testing. Mm -hmm. So I uh, did testing for FIFA, NHL. Oh, that's um, sick. There is a Roderick McDaniel that works for DICE and works on Battlefield. And we spell our names the same way. Wow. And I'm glad they gave us an NDA because I knew about Battlefield 1 before it was officially announced because they kept sending me all the oh, information nice. in oh my, my email. God. And I just kept going, I'm not, I'm pretty sure this isn't for me. So I yeah. told my boss, hey, I got an email from Dice. And they went, for what? And I showed it to them. And they were like, yeah, you got to write them back and let them know you're, yeah, not, you're not the same so Roderick. I wrote them back, said, hey, I'm Roderick that's in Austin, Texas, and I work in this department, and you keep sending me this stuff. And they were like, oh, we are so sorry. You know, just don't say anything to NDA. I went, yeah, no problem. And then they took me off the mailing list, and one week later, he and I were both on it. They just they couldn't figure out what one of us was with. So they just sent it, both of us got it. And I said, I'm pretty sure Ro, Ro McDaniel at EA and Ro McDaniel at Dice are two different people. Yeah. yeah. Send it to the guy. At That's your crazy. Department. It's your EA email. Yeah. And they yes. were sending it <laughs> to me. Man. <laughs> and, I, and they just and I just stayed on there. So I was like hearing the guns. And one time they were like, hey, these are the guns that we're thinking about for the multiplayer map. And oh, cool. And I was like, you Looks good. Keep it. me posted. <laughs> I just replied back like, okay. Yeah. I'm you ever see that old guy who's nasty at sniping on Battlefield on TikTok? That guy's so sick. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the 60-year-old grandma that plays Call of Duty? No, that's hilarious. She's got a 1.7 <laughs> 1. million viewers on TikTok. That's amazing. And that's sick. she's been playing Call she's of Duty nasty. for 21 years, Oh, man. she got, yeah, yeah, she got like the oh, first one. Well, will murk you so that's quick, so, dude. Wow. That's so sick. Nasty game, man. She, I mean, she's doing trick shot <laughs> she's taking out people on her own just like running through that the room rules. and everybody like yeah. her whole team got wiped one time and she said we're not getting a team wipe and she just took out the whole wow group. and i was like she talking shit on the headset no she you know oh, she's doing yeah, she's yeah, so yeah, sweet yeah, on yeah, there yeah, they're going how many followers do you have she said I don't know, probably about eighty nine thousand on twitch and they'll Damn. be like what and that's she's unbelievable like, yeah, it's cool. uh, she's like a millionaire Dude, yeah. she's you doing got the 90k day. on Twitch. Wow. It's nuts. 60 year old, like, I just want to ask her weird questions like, what's your chocolate chip cookie recipe? You know, yeah. like, what's your grandma game like? Yeah. You know, I know what your Call of Duty game is. You're putting <laughs> it down. That's pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. Makes you fucking sick ass cookies. And then yeah, you know, play, cool. plays games with you. Yeah. My grandma did neither of those. Didn't make you cookies? No. No, I did have that grandma. Recipe, that was my grandma, but they never granny. played Call of Duty either. No, I didn't like. I don't know. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but <laughs> yeah. this is the place to do it. If you're going to. <laughs> My granny never made me cookies. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's a little cry. Much. Well, she was like a she was like a like a intellectual. Like she was like an English professor and like a columnist and like a writer. Yeah. So she wow. just kind of had this like erudite kind of you know high yeah. highfalutin yeah. thing to her. Yeah. She wasn't like a I'm gonna make biscuits and and you right. know tuck you in at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, she probably wanted cool. to talk to you about. She wanted to talk about your books. dissertation about and thoughts on Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah like, literally. She'd give me stuff like that. And then she would ask me like these like highbrow questions. And I'd be like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Like she was like, Speak which honor? She, I went to college. She's like, what are you going to join the honor society there? And I was like, I don't know. They have one of those. I didn't know. <laughs> like, yeah. I was just like, I'm going to. Probably gonna smoke pot. Yeah. And play <laughs> Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Get real good at Super Smash. You should yeah, do that, I'm, Grady. I did do that. I did I got nasty at melee did in college. You? That's oh. all I did. Okay. Bro, yeah, I got pretty good in college. I'm way better than you did. I don't think you so. You know what I would love? I'm so good at melee, it'll make you cry. I we would Oh You'll no! You'll cry like a play. baby. We got to talk to Rebecca about having a Super Smash tournament here at the club. Oh, that'd be a blast. Of just comedians. That'd be so cool. Yeah, but you guys are gonna want to play like Ultimate or something. 
Bro, no, I'll let melee. y'all choose, man. Yeah, we can no set them up and gonna just go. But. I, I don't even think I've ever... I've played Ultimate just a few times. Melee is the way to go. Melee is the best one. Yeah. Y'all want to set up some game keys and TVs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to get those big ass TVs. Yeah. yeah I'm just... going to be such a Nazi about like the rules. I'm like, you have to be this many stocks, no items, <laughs> no only items. these stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, you can't oh, use no, a fucking. I'm going to let you choose your stage. So when you choose, this is my stage, and then I beat right. you on it, I want you to go, <laughs> you deserve that humbly. <laughs> so I want to be, I'm that guy. Yeah. Oh, you deserve to be humble. Pretty good. I'm, yeah, I'm really competitive. It's not really even fun. Yeah, I'm so, I'm hyper competitive. I don't know about you guys. I I had a buddy that was just Me at too. Evo, so oh, I have nice. friends that do that now. And what they, does he play? Oh God, he was ranked in the top 200 on uh, Injustice for oh, a few nice. years. Oh, but wow. I think this time he competed in the new Street Fighter. Yeah, I think he did Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, and I forget what the third game he competed in. But nice, he had a he had a very decent showing in Guilty Gear. That's mm. that's sick. Yeah, that's that's not an easy. One. Mine used to be Blast Blue. What is that? I, Blast Blue. That was on the um, on the Sony systems. It was a Japanese fighting game, uh, okay. man. And I would be up at three o'clock in the morning fighting Japanese and Korean kids. <laughs> wow. And man, I'd be getting. That's how I learned to get good at it. Because when, when some eight year old juggles you for a <laughs> match, <man, laughs> it keeps you in the air and won't let you touch the ground to recharge. I was like, oh. That's humbling. Yeah. So I would just be up like learning. Yeah, you get uh I take so I'm super competitive. Yeah. Um that's that's kind of surprising. Usually like really? well, because I think you're mostly very, very easy going. Yeah, I am now. Um, but when it comes to video games, like if we're gonna play Madden, I do not want to lose. <laughs> like at I all. I like that, dude. I respect that. You know, I genuinely like I dislike people who are like I'm not competitive. Why are we keeping score? Like we're just having fun. I'm like, that. what the fuck are you yeah. talking? Like I'm putting yeah. a bracket on it's the whiteboard. Game, yeah. Like we're putting money on it. It's fucking um, dead serious. Like darts. Y'all I gonna make me actually go to Rebecca with this? Like <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. be a blast. I got an idea. Let's just yeah. do that. Like we a, can you do know, this as a fun race. Saturday here. afternoon. Yeah, That'd be yeah. pretty sick. That we can have cool. a fundraiser and let Dude, people, people pay to come watch a comedians duke it out, man. Yeah, we have mics. And it could be like a streamy around. thing. It'd yeah, be fun. Y'all, the video would be funny. I, I did nerdcore days on Twitch, so I know the people. We could really do. Mm, yeah, this. that'd be <laughs> great. Could, I'd love I know to do the that. people Dude. to do this. Yeah, I want to get fun. involved with the local melee scene if I can. I don't know where they play though. I don't know physically I will where send they you play. Some information. Oh, you know. Talk to you. Oh, cool. Yeah, there was a lot of places. There used to be a place that wasn't far from here, man, but. Because uh, I looked online and all I saw were like these online kind of tournaments or like weeklies, man, and I was like, I want to like COVID meet in person. Ruined a bunch of stuff, yeah, man. I want to meet in person. Like I used to do that in college, and it was really fun. I made some friends and fucking yeah. got my fucking ass beaten alive by these people who are so fucking good. And Orlando, uh, weirdly, not to nerd out too hard, but it had like the some of the best players in the world at, at melee wow. for a certain time. It was like yeah, Muji King, uh, Hungry Box. Mewtwo King? Mewtwo King is his oh, name. Oh, wow. Hungry Box. You ever see that meme of the nerd getting kissed on the cheek with wearing the Burger King helmet? Yeah. That's Mewtwo King. Oh, wow. He had just won a tournament and a girl kissed <laughs> him and he went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> Dude, it, it's, it's like not fun playing against people that good. I hate playing against people that are like emotionless and they're like playing it like it's like, I want someone like, like talking. Math. Like I want people talking shit. Oh, I scream. Shit. I scream. Yeah. I want to get like emotionally into it. You don't want to get play angry. me, man, because if I do, like if I'm sitting back like this and I'm having fun, but if you see me yeah. move up to the front of that seat and <laughs> quiet, oh, it's about to be a hard day for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll quit talking. Oh. In, uh, in oh. college, I made friends with this guy who was gay, and but which Good is for fine. You. No, but he was gay, and uh, we played we played melee together. We played melee all the time together. And I, uh, you, you know, you have those like uh, shower thoughts that are like embarrassing things you did. Mm -hmm. I he beat me at melee, and I screamed at this gay man. I said, "You fucking cocksucker!" <laughs> <laughs> and I'll think about that sometimes. Like, damn, I just 
screamed a half a homophobic slur at my new gay friend. Uh, and he just looked at me like, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Okay. And yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> it's so funny to think. Oh, you cocksucker. <laughs> yeah. He literally is one. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to think because you're just saying it as a thing. Yeah. yeah it's but like a, you're so angry that yeah. your real feelings about him. Yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not even that. It was. It's just like. You forget like the meaning of words no, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you're no, just like, I know this you're is what we call our bold. Bad. It's like calling yeah. your dad a motherfucker. You know, yeah. it was yeah. like, oh it, shit. It, yeah, that's forget. why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're he like, was. oh, yeah, I guess he literally is. Right. I kind of yeah, feel yeah. he's probably had that thrown at him for the worst reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even yeah. say the real bad one, but yeah, I dude, it. I'm surprised. The Madden one got me. I did not think you would be the Madden guy. Yeah. So because well. Especially in high school, me and my friends were all very competitive. So, like, I mean, we would get quiet and, like... It'd get freaky. Uh, yeah, it yeah, would get it intense. Dark. And we didn't want to lose. Like, we just didn't want to lose. Um, and, I mean, we would play and get so into it that, like, it would be, like, the going home and not talking to him for a couple of days. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, that bad. I have grown up yeah. friends right now, adult men, that yeah. if... During the football season, which is starting this Friday, oh, if wow. uh, if Texas loses a game, I have a buddy I don't call him. If the for like uh, Texans, like like no, if Texas, like the oh, Longhorn, UT. if if UT loses a game on a Saturday, yeah, I don't talk to him to Monday. But if <laughs> UT and Dallas lose that weekend, yeah. <laughs> I've waited till Wednesdays to talk to that man. I'll send him wow. a text on Wednesday morning, like, hey, bro, what's happening? Like, I don't know that your team just lost and didn't yeah. cover point spread. And, I'm like, <laughs> and I used to be that dude, man. I And the game that used to get me, the reason I took the job with EA was because I wanted to work on NCAA. That mm. was my game. And the year I get the job working at EA, we canceled it. NCAA. Oh wow! So now that it's back this year, they're all there's like a 24 dude league in my friend group where they yeah, but they didn't bring it to PC, and I don't want to go out and buy a PS5 or an Xbox Series X just right, to just play in this game. one with these dudes. And they were yeah. like, "Well, you could get other games. I'm not wasting five hundred dollars to play mm. with you jerks on the yeah, weekend. no way. I'm not yeah. doing that. Okay." They can bring it to PC and I'll and I might pirate it, but uh, <laughs> I'll figure it out. I might pirate it if they do that. But it's this thing where they were talking to me about it, and I was like, "Nope, I'm not doing that." But they yeah. they are very that that whole game has changed friendships. Everything. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, we I, we have a whole trophy that they give out every oh year. Oh my god, wow. dude. Well, yeah, we maybe there is a line where you should go. Yeah, we're we taking this trophy. Way too serious. Yeah, yeah, a little bit much. Fantasy I, football people get like that too. I don't know enough about football to ever play fantasy yeah, football, but I have friends who it gets screamed at each other and like the money they get. You yeah. know, the buy in the buy ins and the money they lose. And like, I had a a my friend, my friend Luke. He uh, <laughs> he did a a fantasy. They always do the fantasy football draft on the same day every year, and one of the like members of the thing of the group w like put his wedding day as that day and everybody in the fantasy football group was like dude fuck you uh, move your fucking wedding <laughs> like, that, was, that was the first wow. instinct not like oh we'll reschedule we'll it this year it. <laughs> it was fuck you move, move your fucking wedding. wedding why the fuck would you put your wedding on draft day you, you dumb fuck not to do yeah. that, bro. you knew that was a violation of the yeah. so what they made him do is they made him they, they said they gave him a thousand dollar fine they're like you. We can do it another day, but you have to give us, a, give everybody else in the wow. group. You know, we'll split a thousand dollars. Is that what they do? Do it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, thousand bucks. Wow. And they, I'm Damn. like, did you keep the money? And he's like, no, we're gonna use it to like have a party. <laughs> like, that's so funny. <laughs> dude, that's on so his insane. wedding day. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, yeah. I think they're they're just they moved it to like the next day or so, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, yo, yeah, I'll take this way too seriously. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I mean, look, I got there. I've been there, man. But I now that dude, like, I'll be in the games. You could be killing me in the game, and I'll I'll be like, oh man, that was a good move. Like, I'll see it, and yeah. I'll take the wind out of my friends because I'm like, oh, that was a good defensive play. You oh, know? I hate that, but. Dude, at EA, we used to do in-house tournaments. Yeah. So the people that worked in the company would yeah. play against each other. And there was this dude, man, I'll never forget his name. Irvin, you're going to hear this and still <laughs> hate me for this. But he talked cash money yeah. all the time. Like, y'all ain't shit. I'm the greatest. And 
Dude, the beat down I put on front of him <laughs> in front of the VPs. Oh, it felt it feels oh, good. It was, what game? It was Madden. Oh, nice. Oh, and I, and I took the Saints and he had New Ooh. England. Oh my God. And it was just like, wow. oh, he was talking, no, you're you're not ready for this. And I was like, okay, cool. And man, I was watching him and I said, this fool, I'm about to kill him. I'm just gonna do a cover five and drop my D my D backs over the top. And I was just picking him off and I ran one back. Uh. And I did a cartwheel after I ran it back. <laughs> like I, my big ass went up there and I said, What do you know about this? You I did, did a cartwheel. Oh, shit. And then oh, I said, in real life. I thought you meant like the <laughs> one of the cellies. No, I literally threw the controller dance. What you know about that? And I did a cartwheel. <laughs> and everybody was That's like, awesome. Oh, he got you. Uh, <laughs> dude, if, <laughs> if you did a cartwheel after beating me, I think I'd end my own life. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, That's you know, <laughs> you know where the black guy's like this and all his friends are like, yeah. That, that literally is what he's watching after I do a cartwheel. And he, all everybody's like, ah. Yeah, he's like, I hate him. I get so salty. Oh, yeah. he left work that day. He, <laughs> he had a clock out. Dude, he left. We weren't supposed to leave till 7 o'clock that night. That man left at 2.30 wow. that afternoon. Wow. He was like, I'm starting vacation early. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, maybe you can learn to play the game. While you know. I, was just, I, I talked cash money to him till he left and got to his car. Yeah. But I was like, you shouldn't have talked all that shit to me. And I wouldn't wow. have been that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't even, I thought, you know, Roger, you're in therapy. You're not that guy anymore. No, I'm, I'm that still guy. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you, you, you guys ever have like stuff you say? I don't know, like that just knee jerk you say after winning or something like that, and you realize like, oh my god, I'm like a terrible. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> that's why I don't play online uh, anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was, I forget. I think it was my friend. I think it was Joe Jacks. We play Super Smash Brothers all the time, and I said, "You're nothing." <laughs> <laughs> I go, "You're nothing." <laughs> uh, it's gotta be it's like soul. Uh, <laughs> like, it's gotta be painful playing against. <laughs> such a fucking asshole, dude. I'm such a bitch, and yeah. I'm a real. I'm even worse loser. Yeah, oh really? <laughs> yeah, I get so angry. Uh that that's why I really don't play a lot of video games. My I'm not I'm too mentally soft to <laughs> to play video games. One I get I, it. One I get distracted and I can't focus. I'll I'll think oh, like Oh yeah. Do you guys ever do this? You're like I should be doing something else. Of course. I'm wasting my time. I lose three yeah, hours. That's why what? I dropped three hundred right. hours in Elden Ring. Yeah. The whole time I was going, yeah. I should be doing something else with my life. I'm beating this car. Right. In right. reality, it's good to pretend participate in something that's enjoyable to you yeah as long like, as you're not abusing and not it. abusing it and yeah. i don't but you, still yeah. yeah if you're in, if you're playing five hours every day you know yeah then you, that's, what the fuck is that's you know, too chill much. the fuck yeah. out but yeah. if you play an hour here and there yeah it's fine and i don't feel that guilt when i like watch a movie no so you go what's really what's the difference i don't know there's something different about it it's i think it's because it's so like, stimulating that it is like yeah it's like more druggish than like watching TV For or watching sure. a movie. So you get like these hits of like dopamine yeah. that make me feel a little guilty. Yes, yeah, I've yeah, told that's him like about jacking that. off. Like jacking off isn't that bad, but then I do it sometimes. I'm like, why do right. I do it? You feel like guilty. Days. Days. I'm like, Duh. Five days in a row. What am yeah. I doing? I'm trying to break a, a combo breaker. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, kind of those watching? cheat codes, you know? It's like, you know, you're going to get it from video games. You, yeah, you, you know get it from you're porn. Get it from you get it from porn. video games. I've told you how I came back from tour with money in my pocket. And I bought Elden Ring, and I all my friends. I didn't tell anybody I was home. Yeah, sat at my house and uh, out and yeah. played the game. That's how I got a whole month. I had like all that money from the tour, and I was like, I'm wow. up. And then I got an inheritance from my dad, and I was like, I'm up, up. I yeah. got thirty grand in the bank. I'm not. And so my friends were like, "Hey man, how's the road?" Wow. I said, "It gets real lonely out here." Yeah. And I'm, I'm in my house, like <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, if I wild. got thirty grand, I would be like, I would relapse. I would, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing, I'd be doing coke. Dude. I would be getting hookers. Yeah. You bought a video game. And when I you're successful, Jimmy, I'll be like, "Give me your money. Yeah. <laughs> give me I would half, need someone to take give me my half money. of all your money because yeah, yeah. you're gonna be <laughs> sucking off hookers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing blow out of." Fucking oh, Chinese I just found out that I'm yeah. have to be Jimmy's success coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. This podcast takes off. I gotta yeah. hang out with Jimmy now. I need like, some I'll... emotional sobriety. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have like a, your financial advisor take all your money, and then yeah. you're gonna be like, probably for the best. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Mazda we're gonna top, set that in place, man. Yeah. I just like, I'm, thanks for letting me know yeah. now. Done with my job. I, I totally game. get that though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I bought a video game and I hid out of my house. Um, do you guys think that if you had a lot of money? you would be less motivated to do stand-up 
like a, a lot, a lot of money. Yes, like a but, lot, but yeah. it had to be quite a lot. Yeah, before I, think I was so really too. Less Don't motivated. think I would be less motivated because okay, let's just put a number to it. If the lottery is what five hundred thirty-seven million. Jesus. After taxes, you're going to get about two hundred and twenty-four of that. Yeah. They're going to hit you for about thirty-five percent. But let's just say yeah. they get they like took fifty. Ballpark fifty. Yeah. That's so not fair. If I got two hundred and twenty-four million in the bank, I am going to be all over the country. People are going to know me like in like Idaho. Like, what are you doing here? I'm at yeah. an open mic in Idaho. I just flew up here to come. Yeah. Do fifteen and showcase. I would just put a million dollars into Facebook ads. Yeah, and just sell out, sell out clubs across the, yeah. the, the country just with Facebook ads. That'd be pretty cool. And it'd be pretty be cool. easy. You just put would... like hundred grand into Facebook ads per city, right? And just you, sell. And out. you make back like forty or fifty from the right. weekend. So yeah. really, yeah. you're only spending fifty. You write that off. Yeah, bing bang bong. Pretty smart. I, a, I would. The IRS owes you money. Yeah, <laughs> I would. Not totally how taxes work at all. <laughs> that's how it works. I think that's how it works. And I would buy like a nice uh, penthouse. Uh, you know, right in Austin. I'd stay in Austin, I think. Would you? No, I'm going to stay out in Round Rock. I you can't so? be in city limits, man. Yeah. I can't do city no, limits. No, I'm not man. staying downtown. No fucking way. I no. can see you because you got supermodel looks and you're going to have supermodel chicks you. at your penthouse. <laughs> but I'm going to have somebody soccer mom. Do you think mom. he's like really sexy? <laughs> yeah. That'd be so, so funny. So last time he, he was like, like Jimmy's fine as hell. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> That's a lot. Jimmy, you're a very handsome, tall, nice looking man. I said you this no, to Jimmy and I six. had a woman say this that. to me in my DMs about Jimmy. She saw Jimmy and she said, her reply was, I'm a married woman. I'm a married woman. She really thinks Jimmy Damn. is a good looking Wait, man. Wait, what does she look like though? She's Hot. Oh, she's hot, hot. She's a mom. She's hot, hot mom, dude. Milf, yeah, milf status. Hot, hot mom. I mean, uh, a uh, very specific. I'm a type for a woman. I'm not like a universal. I don't think so. Do you really? Are, yeah. No, because you're tall and lean and have a square face. That's ever, that's pretty yeah. universal. And yeah. you got a good head of hair. And, you and you're pretty, sensitive. And you have pretty blue eyes. Yeah, I'm a sad boy. Yeah, Girls man, that's hot. Yeah, really? dude, that's big right now. I mean, look at you're like uh, you're like Pete Davidson plus ten years. Wow. Or Timothy Chalamet, but funnier. Yeah, plus, plus, plus eight years. inches. Yeah. A dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't think anybody's got a dick bigger than Pete Davis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, think, Chalamet. I, yeah, yo, Chalamet, definitely. Yeah, Chalamet's Chalamet. like five, six. You're like, so what, six, three, six, four? Yeah, that's true. I do have my height. I'm you have you your about. height and you're in good shape. Yeah. Well, not without my clothes on. Yeah, you are. I've seen else. you without a shirt on. Oh, really? Yeah, you look great. You like it? Yeah. I like, do you like it? <laughs> Are you two going to date after this? Am I yeah, getting my Hallmark sure. Christmas movie right now? I was trying now? to do the podcast on Jimmy's lap. He wouldn't yeah. let it. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. I just whisper in your ear things I want to say on the podcast. <laughs> I'll ask you a question and you whisper to Jimmy. What he said was. <laughs> so what Christoph wants to say. <laughs> he says he's really happy to be here. He yeah. said, what if you got a boner when you got shot? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would rule. Oh, Super shy. I wish, dude. I fucking wish. Yeah. Every day did we I don't know how we had the serious conversation about our anxiety, and I've never laughed this hard talking about depressing yeah. shit. But y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're Isn't talking about great? normal stuff. Yeah. The, the theme of this episode is laughter is, is healing. Live laugh yeah, love. Yeah. Yeah. We're basic as shit. Yeah. <laughs> we're a Starbucks ad for we're, dudes. Yeah, we're fucking <laughs> fucking forty five year old white woman core. You yeah. know, people yeah. make fun of live, laugh, love, but those are all three pretty good things. Pretty good. <laughs> Right? Yeah. yeah. Not, not even I mean, they know, they're all pretty solid. Live, you don't want to be dead. You don't want to be dead. Yeah. Laugh, that's fun. Everyone laugh likes laughing fun. love. Everyone loves love. Everyone, Everyone love, love. loves love. I feel like I should have came in here with a frappuccino and like <laughs> holding it with two hands. Goes, this is para, so cozy. Para, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got a double hand that frappuccino, man, yeah. for the cozy appeal. Are you guys depressed guy? I'm not really a depressed guy. Yeah, you don't seem like a depressed. No, I'm a, like a like a uptight, anxious yeah. Yeah, but in, one thing I admire like Woody Allen brains slash or jealous about you is how happy you always are, which is great. Me? No, I, I admire about you. Oh, thank well, you. Well, you you have such a good energy. You oh, like thanks. you're yeah. cheerful That's very and sweet. like uh, you are the only person who th I, I think I always my 
Well, Repres- you're consistent. Rep- you're consistent. Reputation is that I'm dour and judgmental and. Uh, well, you've yeah, established that, that you are judgmental, but you're. <laughs> you're angry. like, he's judging us, but he well, made me I laugh. I guess you're like my type. Of, you're, I love the. You're cheerfully judgmental. Oh, thank you. You know, you're not like yeah. bitter. You And like, one of the, my favorite things to do with you is talk shit about other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's all I like that. to do. <laughs> Just clip that. I need that clip because oh, I talk, yeah, I've I talk, never heard hell, somebody talk, say talk cheerfully shit. judgmental and. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do because is talk shit fun. about people with you. Yeah. yeah. I do like to have fun. Yeah. I don't think, I think I'm judgmental and like kind of mean, but I'm not, not in a non fun way. Yeah. Not, yeah. I'm not down in the dumps. I'm upbeat right. relatively. You know? Right, right. You are upbeat. Yeah. It's never yeah. like depressing. But to answer your question, I am, I'm better. I've been a depressed person. I mean, I have, I have depression. Um, so I battle with that all the time. Uh, but, uh, you know, the obviously the antidepressants like changing everything. Yeah, for of me. course. But it's always like battling like just those like bad thoughts. Is it like, like I and like uh, I've experienced depression, but I I don't think I am generally a depressive. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, what do you like think about? Like, is it negative thoughts about yourself like i'm a loser i suck kind yes. of thing okay. it's uh so it's my it's, brain giving me conspiracy theories about me yeah. yeah and it's never one particular thing one one it's like it's like spiraling a lot of the time so uh, like a depressive episode will like creep up there might be one specific thing that kind of triggers it yeah but then it's like like for, it's like a blanket it's just like this feeling of dread and you can't really pinpoint yeah, just what like it is. Yeah. Um, but while that feeling of dread, of dread is present, mm-hmm. things I'll play like the greatest hits of uh, fears and uh, like things that i Negative I'm things that have happened of, to you. Or, negative yeah. things, you know, all the, the scary things Yeah, in it's life. interesting. So like it will like, so depression is kind of like that where it's like- yeah a blanket and then repetitive bad thoughts yeah and then like literally low energy yeah um and like because you're so beat down from fighting so beat down yeah your body's just you're tired i just want to go to sleep makes you tired tired. yeah Yeah. and you're not enjoying stuff it's like those commercials oh yeah yeah what's that called anhedonia yeah yeah Yeah, you know where she has the the, uh, my favorite is where she's got the paper plate with the smile on it yeah and she's holding it over her face on the stick yeah and i go Oh, that's really every comedian a lot of yeah. times with depression because we will mask it and be funny. Yeah. And yeah. then be in the house and talk about if I wake up tomorrow morning, I am gonna be so pissed. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. And that would be me. I would yeah. wake up with panic all the time. That's when I started that's taking worst, antidepressants. Yeah. It was kind of like there's something kind of funny about it. Something kind of darkly funny about I go to my therapist, I go, I'm I'm uh waking up and having a panic attack and he goes about what i'm like i don't know i just literally wake up and i'm yeah. like freaking out yeah. there's not any one thing nothing's happened yet and he, and he goes well <laughs> he goes uh he said so he goes well i can't treat you in your sleep so you should probably start taking drugs <laughs> like, like, he literally hit me with the like yeah. that's that's your Fair you enough. know yeah something's happening happening when you're sleeping yeah like i'm grinding my teeth i wake oh. up i'm fucking freaked out like i'll have like uh i had like a like clenched you know like i'm, clen- I'm a clincher i'm like wow I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm asleep so like, clenched yeah, up yeah, like I'm clenched this. up and then i'll asleep. release and i'll be like oh my god it feels like i've been lifting weight oh, yeah for the yeah last yeah hour. so i would do that wow. in my sleep and my hand would i had like sore hands from <laughs> oh <my laughs> i have to i had to cut my nails because i would wake up and there'd be nail imprints oh yeah, my dude. in my palms and i'd be like yeah but i'd be so sore and i'd have to like slowly let it go and oh I'd be yeah like, that sucks it's crazy and I i'm wake asleep up at three wow, o'clock in the in morning sleep i'm like a peaceful th- sleeper i'm just so happy not to be awake that's because you got oh, a depression nice. blanket yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, dep- you're pulling depression up on you like mm, i'm cozy yeah, i'm that. over here going no yeah do you guys have nightmares yeah no. i don't that's yeah, the I get nightmares what uh what are what are some of the common ones Teeth falling out. Uh, oh, yeah. there, I've got a sort of classic ones. Teeth falling out, naked at school. Oh, um, uh, Running away from like capture for some reason, like police are after me, something like I've that. Had someone was trying Home to kill invasion. me, but I don't know why. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, 
like those. Yeah. The worst nightmare I used to get was the uh, somebody was trying to kill me, but I didn't know why they were trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. Or um, the, I'm in some John Wick situation. Yeah. And I'm uh, like, but I don't have weapons. And I'm yeah. like, why? Yeah, or no karate. Like, I don't want to hurt this person. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, I'm in the dream looking at stuff like, I, I guess I could use that axe. You know, yeah. and I'm like, why am I yeah. thinking about murder? But then I'm waking up. Like, it's so weird how real it is. I have the naked at school dream, mm-hmm. but I've it's not my it's one. not my school, and I'm yeah, it's, the it's, same age I am now. Right, I have dreams where I go yeah, back to school. That's a felony, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're dreaming about a felony. That's He's like, it's my favorite dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a nightmare. It's not a nightmare. I got at my all. dick out at a middle school. It's a wonderful dream. <laughs> Do you have the um uh failing? School, or yeah. not going to graduate, or missing a class. Yeah, or I go to class and they go, missing "There's that test. big test today," and I went, what "I didn't that know." Shit? And then I've had dreams where I'm having like a dream test, and the question is just like random symbols, and I'm oh, like, "I, I yeah. can't even read it." Oh, yeah, yeah. so weird. <laughs> I had dreams where I go back to school, even though I know in my head I go, "I have a college degree. I'm back in high school. I'm 28 years old." And everyone's looking at you like you have to go back to high school. You yeah, fucking, I've had you that. fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate tests and sleep, man. If yeah. I'm in a dream and there's a test, I'm a, I'm a fail. Oh, yeah, I'm like, so worst. pissed off. I can you never don't know read anything. <laughs> I yeah. have a... no. All the words are like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. sucks. I have. The... So I have bad dreams all the time. Yeah, I still have really bad dreams. Still, wow. Yeah, I, I still get really bad dreams all the time. See, this is why I say young guys still have dreams. Old guys were just like waiting for death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing I don't have to worry I about. I wish now. I didn't dream. Right? Yeah. I mean, nah. I have like crazy good dreams too. Yeah. Oh I have, yeah, like, my crazy. good dreams are good. Yeah, but sometimes you ever have a like. I I was trying to do a bit about it, but it doesn't really. It's more of a statement, really. But the, ju- <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the. Uh, Good dreams are bad because you wake up from them and bad dreams are just bad. So all dreams are just across the board shitty. Right. Because if I have a good dream, that's good. it's yeah. like I'll have a dream that I won a million dollars and then I wake up and I go, fuck, I yeah, have yeah, a million yeah. dollars. I hate this. I'm still, fu- I don't still don't yeah, have any so fucking money. Right yeah. now. I still have no money or yeah. I have a dream where, I, you know, I got so scared because a robber took all my money and then I wake mm-hmm. up like, ah, ah. Right. No matter what, you can't win. You yeah. can't win with dreams. Yeah. The subconscious yeah. is a piece of shit. I it did is. have a dream. I fell in love with a girl one time, and she was fucking gorgeous. And I don't know where her face is from. Oh yeah. And and it was the greatest, most emotionally uh, satisfying yeah. love See, story those of my are life. Nice. But I had that dream, and but I woke, I woke up. up, and she's not real, well, and she doesn't not real. exist. Dude, I'm mourning. I'm hurt. mourning a loss of a dream girlfriend. I, I had that. I had that. <laughs> I had that dream all the time in high school. And I was a fucking fat virgin, dude. And I'd wake up like, I'm still a fat fucking loser virgin. A new girl didn't go to school and love me who had huge tits. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's suck. Dream girl was gone. And yeah. I was like, and dude. And I'd be mad like at things. I was sad about shit that was supposed to happen in the dream. Like, damn it, her and I were supposed to go to breakfast this morning. Roger, that was a dream. That yeah, was a yeah. dream. Dream girl doesn't exist. Yeah, Sucks, come dude. back to reality. For yeah, me, it, awesome. it gives me motivation because I'm like, okay, that dream girl's out there, and then I have this like connection. I always have a connection where I'm like really connected with some girl, and yeah, like, uh, I'm like really close, and I'm like, okay, that exists. You know. Yeah, I guess you can imagine it. All right. Yeah. Just know if it works. Well, if any of y'all know a woman that feels close to me or is attracted to me, please send her my way. Tell her I am open to being her her real life boy, her IRL boyfriend. IRL BF, dude. Because I will treat her good, and (laughs) we're gonna do a lot of sales pitching. I have dreams that I must live in real life like Jimmy told me to do. Yeah. Okay, we've we been rapping? Here. Okay, cool. Let's get out of this here. This is a great pod. Dude, thanks thank for you. having me. Thanks for coming good, on, Crystal. Great to meet you, Roderick. Tell us where we can find you online. Uh, please listen to the Rough Week podcast great on YouTube. Pod. And uh, you can follow me at Chris Jean Official. Okay. Sweet. Jimmy, anything big for you now that you've gotten on Lauren Compton's radar? Absolutely nothing came <laughs> Well, it's going to be filmed and put out. Oh, yeah. It hasn't come out yet. Oh, dude. Okay. And I'm kind of worried because I really dived into my sexual preferences. And now Men. everyone's, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so everyone's going to be, everyone's going to so, know, which is fine. Does it, is it going to come out It's going to come on out YouTube? on your mom house's studio, dude. which is pretty cool. That's, oh, that's um, fucking awesome. So, yeah. So that would be cool. And uh, Wait, I'm so happy for you. there. 
Yeah. You should have asked him to be on the podcast. I should have. Next time you see him, you should do yeah. that. Yeah. Well, well I mean, you're gonna see him again. he lives in New York. Yeah. Well, I'll see him again. And I think th they see that I'm funny now, which is cool that two big comics know that I'm funny. That's huge, three, dude. Three. Dude, people comics. are going to love you in those comments. Uh, They're going to find you. It's going to be sick. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. So that'll be cool. And you won. I won. You fucking won. Yeah, it you're was the cool. fucking star of the goddamn it show. It was great. It was cool. I felt like top of the world. I woke up the next day and. It was gone. Everything was exact. And then <laughs> you clocked so into Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, that I was have that it all I'm the time. I still Whole have Foods. that shit all the time. Uh, but yeah, so Jimmy dot Moynihan on Instagram. And uh, yeah. Oh, and where can we find you? Oh, um, this you can find me at, at Coach Silky. And we got to plug our podcast because if you're seeing this episode, you know about it. But but, yeah. but at Pain Management Podcast on oh, Instagram. Of course. Nice. Yeah. Got to yeah. go follow that and show us love. And we're dropping clips from that. Yep. yep. And um, great name, by the way. Pain Management. Great dude, name. We were going to call it My Chemical Bromance, but there's actually a band there's with a that band. name. Yeah, there's got to be a bunch of those. But yeah, I think but Pain our, Management's great. But it's just in our, pill mills our in great producer thought of Pain Management. Very he good. did, man. It was yeah. dope. Pain Management Clinics, where you get your oxys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I yeah. Think you're on to something. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in Florida. I know. I know the deal. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Florida, the, capital. The, the only state that runs like a GTA server with cheat codes <laughs> and they pulled up in Vice City, dude. And then Instagram, your coach Silky at, at Coach Silky on Instagram and at perfect. Roderick McDaniel on Facebook. Yeah, so you follow us all. Follow the podcast and listen. Oh, like, uh, share, subscribe. Whole yeah. deal. Cool. Thank you guys so much for Woo. tuning in. Gotta we'll put see the you guns next up. Week. Guns up. And we're live. I have no